It is 1 o'clock and I still haven't eaten yet. All I've had is coffee. And I've been awake since 7. I woke up to the sound of my cat throwing up a hairball. How was your Monday? So, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you notice, I do have the same makeup, the same shirt as my Sephora unboxing. That is because I am filming on the same day, pretty much back to back, and I am starving. So, let's just get through this video, shall we? So first, I'll show you my palette. Um, last month, I did hit pan on two of the shades. This month, I have hit pan on a third shade, and I've expanded the pan in the other two that I already got pan on. Um, this is, a, again, my Stila Not So Nude palette. Here is where I'm at. So last month, I did hit pan on Sugar and Buff, and this month, I did make pan on Mink. So that was really exciting. I have a really big dip going in, what is this, Fawn? So I do expect to hit pan on this one next. Um, these two are slower going, Barefoot and Dolce. Um, I just, I don't need as much of Barefoot because it is very, very pigmented and Dolce is just not a color that I reach for a lot. So I do think that those two shadows are going to take me pretty much the entire year to use up if I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm hoping that I can finish these all up by the end of the year, but those are the two that will definitely be giving me the most difficulty. Um, as always, this is my Stila uh, Kitten Highlight. No pan yet, but I do have a very big dip. I can start to see a ring around the center of the pan, so that's awesome. And if you've seen my other videos, I'm not even worried about this. I haven't been touching it at all. I don't like the formula of the convertible colors. so. That is what my palette looks like this month. I'm pretty satisfied with the progress. It could be faster, but it is what it is, and I look forward to seeing more pan in the future. Next, let's get into my Finish 16 in 2016. I do have a few products that I finished up this month, so let me show you those. This is my Marcel Micellar Water. Um, at the last update, I was down to here, and then I did finish this up pretty quickly after I filmed the video, so there's that. Then I finished up my L'Oreal Infallible Makeup in Makeup Extender Setting Spray. So that one's all finished. You can hear there's nothing in there. The next thing I finished up is this Liz Earl Eye Right Soothing Eye Lotion. This is where I was at the last update and it is completely gone. And the last product that I finished up is my Nexus Youth Renewal uh, Rejuvenating Elixir. I know that the bottle looks a little bit cloudy and milky, but I did have this sitting upside down in a little container for like 24 hours, and I've used up all that came out of this bottle, so I'm calling it done. So there's that. Um, I was down to here at the last update, and it's all finished up. I really liked this product, and it looks like the price of it has gone down since I got this one. It's about $17, so... Um, once I finish up some of my leave-in sprays, I have a ton of them, um, I might actually go back to this. Next, let me show you the stuff that I am very close to finishing up. Uh, the first one being my Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Herbs, and Rose Water. I was really hoping that I might be able to finish it up before this last update, but that's where I am here. This is where I was last month, so a lot, a lot of progress this month. Um, I think that this should be done in the next week or two, so I'm very excited about that. Then I'm also almost finished with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This has been cut open and I have scraped everything out of it and I've put it into a little jar. This is just a little skincare jar that I have and that is how much I have left. I have no doubts that I can finish this up in the next week or two. Then we have this um, Lumine Peat Moss, what is this? <laughs> My Lumine Matte Touch Deep Cleansing Peat Mask. I'm making steady progress on this. I'm using it about twice every month. So this was last month, this is this month. Um, and there's a little bit like caught up here, um, but when I squeeze it and I push the air bubble up, that's where I am um, at that line. Um, Especially since we're going into summer, I see myself finish thing, finishing this up in the next few months. Then let's show you the Balea Charcoal Nose Strips. 
Last month I had five. This month I have four. I did use one just the other night because my nose was getting really gunky. And yeah, I really do like these and I will continue using them through the summer. One that I don't have any visible progress on is my Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer. Um, last month I was at this line and when I hold it up to a really, really bright light, um, I can see that there's not much change there, so I'm not going to mark it this month. Um, we'll see. I'm sure I can finish this up by the end of the year, though. Then, if you saw my update last month, you know that my Physician's Formula um, Transparent Translucent Setting Powder didn't have any pan on it, um, and I wasn't sure how long it would take to hit pan because of the texture of the, uh, like the imprint on the top of the product as well as the depth of the pan. However, I am happy to report that lots of pan has been hit since then. Um, it started over here, and because the product is like in its wavy design, it's sort of panning weirdly, but that's fine, I don't care. Um, so I have three bits of pan, and I hope to expand all of them, maybe end up, you know, panning until the, the edges and then repressing. I'm sure that's what's going to happen. So that's what that looks like. I'm really satisfied with that progress. Another product that I hit pan on, um, I'm not sure if I hit pan last month. If I, I don't know if that was in the update, but um, this is my Wet n Wild Knock on Wood Trio. And I can't remember if I hit pan on this last month, but I have expanded the pan in this pink shadow. And I'm really happy with that. Um, I haven't been reaching for this quad overall just because it is summertime and I'm not going for this heavy of a lid look. I know I am wearing a little bit of a dramatic eye look today, but you know, overall I'm not really reaching for the burgundy, but come the fall I will definitely be using this a lot more. Next we have my Maybelline Color Tattoo in Pomegranate Punk. Um, I don't know if there's any visible progress on this. Um, we'll have to see when I take the progress photos and compare it to last month. I'm just not reaching for this either because it is a darker burgundy color and this does pair really well with that Wet n Wild trio, but I'm just not reaching for it right now because it's May. It's almost summertime. The next thing that I need to post progress photos on is my NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder. Um, I'm not working on the wax. I don't really care for it. Just these two powders. I have not hit pan yet, but I do have very significant dips in both of the powders. And here's one that I did not have any progress on. I've been wearing it every now and again. I just, I'm not seeing any progress, which is really frustrating. But this is my NYX Butter Lipstick in the shade Pops. So that's where I was last month, and that's still where it is, even though I am focusing on wearing down that tip. But we'll see. I still have hope for this. Staying on lips, this is my Lip Soul Lip Balm in Honey Berry. I do have some progress here, so that's where I'm at right now. Um, this is okay. It's it, it's an alright lip balm. I just don't like the flavor or the scent of this. I wish I had gotten just the regular or like something minty, but this was all that Rite Aid had when I purchased it, so um, yeah. Then we have the three polishes that I'm counting as one product um, in lieu of doing an entire project polish. This first one is the e.l.f. polish. This doesn't have a name, it's just a nude color. Um, I've used this, I have this on my nails now. Um, I've used it at least once or twice. I'm actually, now that I'm holding it up to the light, I can see um, that the product is a little bit lower than where it's marked from last month, but it's not low enough to make another mark. It'll just look like one big blob. So I have made a little bit of progress, but um, this is a one coater, so I'm not using a lot of product when I do use it. As far as nail polishes are concerned, I really only do my nails once a week, so um, this is still a small polish. I have no reservations about finishing this up by the end of the year. Um, it's just a little bit slow going. Next, I have my Rimmel 60 Seconds Polish in I Lie Lack You. Um, I do have some progress here. This is where the polish is at now. I really do like this color a lot. Um, yeah, 
I can see myself finishing this up in the next couple of months. And finally, I have my Wet n Wild Fast Dry nail color in Buffy the Violet Slayer. Um, this is going to be really difficult to see the progress line on because it is so dark, but I was there at the last update and I'm here at this update, which is really great. This is a two-coater and I think I wore this twice, so yeah, I'm very happy with this progress. I'm about 40% of the way through this bottle and I think it does taper in a little bit, so I think that I'll start seeing more progress faster. So that was all for my updates for this month for Pan That Palette as well as Finish 16 and 2016. As always, I will have progress photos at the end of this video, so just stay tuned. But thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you aren't already, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys!